Hey man, it's Lil' Quill, and y'all tuning in to Off the Porch by Dirty Glove Bouncers. You know what I'm saying? We're going up right now. Let's go. Nice, I remember post up on that block, and you went right to sample. My nigga look up to me, even though I'm number five. Hey, Lil' Quill, man, welcome to Off the Porch again, man. How you feeling today, bro? I'm good, baby. I'm free. Mm. Sober. A whole new person, man. Free and sober, yeah. Tell you, man. Yeah. Um, all right, I want to start off with uh, asking, I saw you were out in L.A. last week. Mm -hmm. uh, what were you working on out there? Um, I was out there doing a video for an uh, unreleased song I got mm. that's going on one of my projects. Okay. Um, album, mixtape, EP, whatever you want to call it. But yeah. Right now, I'm just focused on trying to put me a good single out there and just mm. start from now, you know what I mean? So yeah. Shoot a couple of videos, shoot from which one. Yeah. Get it out there. Yeah, so you were working out there with uh, Juddy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Working out there with Judy, who else there was? Tyler Kendall. Okay. And, um, you know what I mean? Just, I just out there just popping my shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Went to pull up on Keith and got it at one of their shows. Oh, Drake yeah? Okay. Drake came out. Huh. You know what I'm saying? I was in the studio with Thug. Yeah. Little Duke, them and all that, you know what I mean? So just. Yeah, they're you know what working. You got to get out there sometime. You know? Yeah. Leave yeah. it out of here now and then. Yeah. You like working out there in L.A.? Yeah, it's cool, but the only thing I don't like about L.A. is the traffic, man. I don't know. <laughs> that shit. It's crazy for someone. to get anywhere. I don't give a fuck if it's three miles away. Now. Yeah. God. Yeah, it's crazy to hear someone from Atlanta say, you know, that, you know, traffic bad elsewhere. Yeah, I know. In Atlanta, traffic bad, but. Yeah, It's LA. like you expect, this, like, it's certain places like you expect to be there. You know what I mean? Cause, mm -hmm. but, that shit gonna be right there. And <laughs> it's gonna be backed 80 up. 80 minutes. Yeah. That's crazy. This is ridiculous. Oh, God. All right, like you mentioned, uh, earlier this year you were locked up. Yeah. Um, did a few months. What was that for? A probation violation? Probation violation. Yeah. Fell too many damn drug tests. Oh, shit. Yo, and smelling that shit. I felt. <clears throat> I have drug tests. Yeah. Five. So so that's why you're drug free now, huh? Yeah. Yeah, so you still got a little bit of probation to handle? About six years. Six years? Yeah, Ooh. unfortunately. They gonna have you on uh, drug testing for the whole full, full six years, or? Nah, um, see, actually, she just kind of made me an agreement because I've been doing that thing I had to do. Yeah. I done, you know what I'm saying, handled my class and shit, did hmm. my little community service, paid the fine, fine, then paid off the fight, went to jail. Yeah. But she trying to got there, put me on another report, and with another report, like, you don't got to report to her. Like, oh, she just okay. come see you or call in, you know what I mean? Yeah. She told me call in, but I still, my brother was on another report. Mm -hmm. And she used to pull up at the house yeah. and see what he's talking about. But, you know, ain't no drug test in our place. Yeah. And then mm. she wants you to come to the office. Yeah. Like, not saying she can't, but mm. she ain't. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, yeah, so she trying to put me on that. She already just told me. She just told me she, she wanted me to pull up on her before my birthday. Okay. So, because I was going to smoke anyway on my birthday, Jim <laughs> Curry, you know what I mean? You want to live once. <laughs> but I'm going to let her know what's going on. Like, yeah. It's my birthday. Now nah, I can't. Yeah. What, me. Was it tough for you to quit? Yeah, but only thing, I ain't gonna say that now because I had already been prepared to stop smoking while I was in jail. Like, yeah. Since I was already, wasn't able to smoke in there, so it was just yeah. like, I ain't finna get out here and be feeding the door and then I end up right back in here. And, yeah. <laughs> and I went on that and jail shit ain't it. Like, that shit. But luckily I went nowhere crazy and now I had to get in no fights and nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could just go in the hole and all that type stuff. I was, I was out there in the country town though. But oh yeah? I didn't hmm. come in Georgia. Like oh late, shit. Lately <laughs> near Forsyth County. Oh, okay. But Yeah, a little south from here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Seeing the news great, making commissary, all that type shit. But yeah. Yeah, I just don't want that shit. I just don't want that shit over my name, Free Quill. Like, yeah. I don't really mm -hmm. like that shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, has it been difficult adjusting to that lifestyle of not smoking, especially, you know, being in the music industry and in studios where everyone else kinda, is smoking? Kind of, because sometimes I'll be tempted. I'll be like, yeah. I'm going to just hit the motherfucker one time. <laughs> I can't do that. I'm going to just be in jail one more time. Yeah, exactly. I can't do that. So yeah. I'll be trying to think of it like that. And then, you know what I'm saying, one of my old roommates, Free Raymond, by the way, hmm. he would just give, give me right mentally, you know what I mean? Just let me know, like, ain't shit, that shit ain't. Shit ain't, you know what I'm saying? That shit ain't shit. Like, yeah. You're yeah. gonna be there. So, mm -hmm. But you gotta be there. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and I was like, they're right too, you know. I gotta take care of my mama and shit. Mm -hmm. Little sister, brother. You know what I mean? Yeah. Y'all know Cole. 
Yeah. Uh, Coach came home for free. Oh, he's home? He ain't home yet. Okay. Before Close. this, he did already. Oh, got okay, got gotcha, you. Got you know, you. he already trying to adapt himself. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I gotta make sure I be able to hold it down for all of us. Type yeah. Shit, you know what I mean, so mm -hmm. I can't be in jail because. Yeah. Can't. Do you feel that your mind is more clear now that you're not smoking every day? Uh huh. Yeah. Mm hmm. He's like, and I, I even, I was even talking to mom one time about this. Hmm. Mom like me without when I don't smoke. Yeah. So he's, he's like. Really, mainly music-wise, cause mm -hmm. like I got, I got all my unreleased shit. I've been doing hard. I ain't mm -hmm. even gonna cap you down. Like, shit mm -hmm. hard. Like, yeah, I was gonna ask, did it affect your music? It did. Yeah. Tremendously. Yeah. It did. For the I better, just, huh? Like, for the better, like I yeah. ain't even gonna lie, like my shit clear now, and like you can actually hear me now. Like, huh. cause I used to have a lot of complaints about that. Turn your vocals up. Turn the beat down. Whatever. Mm -hmm. It's hard though. I want to keep hearing that it's hard though, but you still I still the same. Yeah. Uh uh. Hmm. I want you to hear this shit. Yeah. Cause this shit hard. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So. <laughs> but uh, you do plan on going back to smoking when probation's over with, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> Would you smoke as much as you did before? Probably more. Probably more. <laughs> Make up for lost time, Probably huh? Probably more, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But, I mean, I don't know. That's something I, I, I got to wait for the future to get here for me to see yeah. that. I mean, I don't mind, though. But around well, that time, I don't know. That's it. I'm just, I ain't even going to talk about that. Yeah. I fuck around, smoke as soon as I got there, get on the report. Yeah. So I don't even you know. I just depending on how I'm feeling. But mm -hmm. I know right now, to, right now, at this moment, I can't, even yeah. if I wanted to, so I ain't. Yeah. Yeah, it's not worth the risk of going back to jail just to get out. Worth you know? the Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, let's talk about your um, project you're working on, your first solo project, right? Don Quillion. Ah, that's the title? Don Quillion, Youngest in Charge. Okay. Um, shoot, really, you know, the solo shit never really been my thing. Yeah. So, it, like, just before, before I even started, before I even went to jail and had the concept of that, I was nervous as hell. Hmm. I was nervous, I'm not even going to lie to you, because I was like, I never even actually put out music by myself because that never was my thing, you know what hmm. I mean? Because like back then, I don't know if you know the real history about how this shit ended up beginning. This shit always been a group situation. Yeah. So as far as me going out there on my own, like I would never adapt it to it. I would adapt to doing a hook and a verse. I would never adapt to doing a hook, verse, then another verse, mm -hmm. then come back and do it again, all yeah. of it. So it's like, it was like, I'm like, damn, there's gonna be a lot of work. It's gonna just be me. I don't know if the fans gonna want me, hmm. cause you know what I mean. I don't know if they gonna want Ma and hmm. fuck Quill, but, but I had to get out there, cause I ain't, it ain't like I'm just that hard, and ain't like yeah. I didn't help build this shit up either, so uh -huh. I gotta think about it like that. Like yeah, either go either you want, either you gonna do it or you gonna go back to living in a hotel, staring in the streets, and yeah. So I ain't got no other option at that point, hmm. unless I fucking hit the lottery and I say fuck this shit and just. Yeah. Come and build some studio like y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like you got a point to prove with this project? I got a point to prove. I was going to name it that, but to, but I had, I had, actually had to think about the shit. Like, I ain't got shit to prove to these folks. Hmm. Hmm. You feel know I me? Mean? Like, that, like, that's going to make, that's going to make me mentally think that I got a, I got a standards hmm. to abide by with my music which I don't. This shit really just supposed to be when you're having fun type shit, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, that's mm -hmm. how the hits come, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I don't really even want to get to thinking to myself, like, uh-uh, that ain't hard. Dang, I don't think they go like that. Like, no, this shit me, done Quillion, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm the youngest in charge, so I'm a done, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm, a, I'm the youngest in charge, but I'm a done, you know what I mm -hmm. mean? So, yep. it just, you know what I mean? It's just <laughs> self-explanatory on the, on the title. Some people might not get it, but I know I get it, and it's my music, so. Yeah. It ain't too much for me to hmm. reiterate. Yeah. Did you approach this project differently? Like as far as um, different concepts and different producers and everything? Of course. Of yeah. Of course. I ain't gonna lie to you. I got some shit on there. Like, huh. like tonight I'm finna drop a snippet or two other shit. So gotta okay. stay tuned on that. Like, okay. Probably when I leave here, I got, it, I got the caption on that motherfucking everything. You know how you save <laughs> this shit? I got that motherfucker ready to cover all that. So. What's the name of that song? Flying in the sky. And I already okay. shot the video. I, you know, I'll be directing this shit too. Like, not yeah. for other people, but yeah, for as yourself. far as myself. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I went to school for that shit. Oh, when okay. I was in alternative school, it's like a broadcasting <coughs> class or some shit. Huh. And they teach you about angles and shooting and all that. But I've always been fascinated with the cameras and 
visuals and shit too. So yeah. And you do that, but just make me want to just go harder with the shit. It made me just want to turn my videos up, give these folks something that, to see. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then the music hard, so it can't just be nothing. No, no regular yeah. video and music. Mm-hmm. Snap, you feel me? <clears throat> we done did that already. Kind of mm-hmm. switch it up and you know what I'm saying do the up that type shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Yeah. Nah, I got you. Um, so who are some of the producers you've been working with? I'm sure got to say, of course. Gotta take, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I, I ain't gonna lie to I mean, Gotta take, we haven't, ever since I've been out, I don't even think I did too many songs with Gotta take. Oh, yeah? That's huh. just the two, but that's my but this is my brother. I always, for life, mm-hmm. I came up with him. My first song was with Gotta take. Oh, he yeah. produced it, he engineered it, and if I'm not mistaken, he wasn't on it. Nah, he wasn't on it. But still, though, like, Gotta take just, you know what I mean? Gotta take got a lot going on right now with his family, you know what I mean? Okay. But I don't really go get too deep on that. Yeah. But we work and we got something in the mix. Even if he don't make this album, which I want him to do, like I've been on his ass, like, bro, I need you to send me some Because sh- he not, he not used to the new quill. Okay. I call it the vape quill because I be on, the I, be, I be smoking vape, the little jewels and shit now because I can't smoke. That's, not, that's my substitution. Hmm. But I be letting him know, like, I be on some different shit sometimes now. Like, Looking for a different sound? Different sound, you know what I uh. mean? Like, and, 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 you know, we done been working with Gunner Tate ever since I did my first lyric on the beat period mm-hmm. so it's like you got to change up change switch it up sometimes you know what i mean yeah. so mm-hmm. it ain't that you know what i mean i don't outgrew him or he don't outgrew me yeah it's just the sound mm-hmm. you know what i mean i'm looking for a different sound now <clears throat> a different approach you know what i mean it's, yeah it's just it's just what it is right now you feel me yeah so who are some producers you have been working with uh for the I solo project i worked with i i got i don't know if some of these gonna get on the other um on the album, because you know, you still got the label to clear this shit. I've been yeah. working with fucking. I got a, I got some shit with 808 Mafia. Okay. Um, Southside. Oh, okay. I got some shit. I was just with Chase the Money the other day, like uh. two, three days ago, so I know we're going to have some, some shit in the making. Nice. I've been working with a lot of underground artists too. Shouts out to my little brother Kappa. Tragic for sure. Um, okay. You got. Spaghetti J, that's all you're working with? I got Spaghetti J. Yep. Spaghetti J, I'm fucking with them. Mm-hmm. Um, my brother um, Sam and Jeff. But I don't want to even forget no names, but I'm working with a lot of people. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's just, if you if you got what I want now, yeah. I want you type shit. Yeah. Be, so, but I, I definitely got some shit, though. How many songs would you say you recorded solo?ly so since far? I, since I've been out or solo? Just solo. I ain't gonna lie, since I've been out, that that been the only time that I actually really been fully solo mode. Okay. Because before then, I was it was never really like oh no, I right, hmm. went to the studio and I'm finna record some shit. Only just me, like it, it's rare. That was rare then, but now yeah. it's like that's 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 what's going on. But probably like yesterday, I was just playing some shit. I was just playing all my shit on one of my phones. Hmm. I was playing this shit for about an hour or two, so oh, wow. uh-huh. I'd go for about 30, 40 songs. Okay. Since yeah. I've been out. I've only been out for like two months or two so, months right? Two months now, you feel me? Yeah. So, mm-hmm. you know uh, what I mean? Do you have a personal favorite song that you've recorded so far? Yeah, I got three. Three? I got like three of them. It's yeah. going to be, I got like four, five of them. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> All of it's hard. All of it's hard. I don't even, but I know right now, one I'm, I'm fucking with for sure is what it do. What it do? Because... Two reasons. One, I just, I just, I just like it. I just, I don't. Know, I just guess I went crazy on it. Hmm. And two, because it's 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 like a it's like a memory of an old song we did back then with my brother who died. Plug. Okay. That was really like one of the only songs me, him, and Ma ever did together. Uh-huh. Hmm. So it's like it's paying it's paying it's paying homage to that song kind of a little bit, even though it. it it has no relation, but the title is the exact same. So, oh, okay. So yeah. it's just you feel me? Like every time I see it, I be like, it made me think about that song too, because it's the same song. So, it's, you know what I mean? But yeah. And uh, Young Maul just dropped his uh, solo project. Iceberg. Did that um, like seeing him go through the whole process? Did that prepare you for you know what you're gonna have to have to do? Mm-hmm. do? It just made me want to go harder too. You feel yeah. me? Like that's what he want me to do too. He, he, I talk to Mar all the time. I just talk to him a day for about an hour on the phone. Yeah. Trying to get this shit together. He just, mm-hmm. you want me to go harder than him. Yeah. That one person who's gonna really motivate me to do what I gotta do. I don't, I don't give a damn if it's my mama or my girl, Cole, my own brother. Yeah. That nigga Mar gonna make me 
do what I gotta do for sure. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, he ain't go, he ain't go sugarcoat shit. You know, let me know, yeah. little bro, you gotta tighten up on this. Mm-hmm. Can't be doing this. Think about this. Try to do this. You feel me? Like, you know what I mean? Cause I already be trying to do other shit. You know what I'm saying? I already be, you know what I'm saying? Think about the shit that sometimes he don't think about, and he always, you know what I mean? Like, appraising me on that, but he still like try to let me know. I don't give a damn. Do it harder. Yeah. Do more. Yeah. Do this. You know what I mean? So you can't do nothing but love me. You feel me? Cause at the end of the day. Without that, I feel like I got myself crazy. Yeah. Some shit. Mm-hmm. But, but yeah, I don't got nobody out here loving me. I don't got nobody out yeah. here feeling me. It be coming to the point sometimes where I be like, I, right, if I don't like it, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. It. I be like this in the studio sometimes. I might do a song, listen to this shit. <laughs> yeah, my gonna like this shit. My gonna like this shit. You feel me? So, and if I know, if I know, if I got my liking this shit, I don't give a fuck what nobody else got to say about uh, it. You feel me? Cause yeah. my own gonna be the one to uplift me about the shit and let me know. Yeah. Bro, I'm proud of you. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I only take one, one. I'm proud of you to, for me to just want to go even more. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, fans have been eating up his project, you know? It did trending right now. Yeah, it went really well on uh, he Apple and all that. On, on, on Apple Music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's trending still right now to, to the second on, on Audio Mac. Oh, know, yeah, fans. he's killing it on Audio Mac. I saw that. You got um, Spinrella. He, he yeah. He's a popular song on the uh, album. <clears> you know what I mean? Just, I'm sure that motivates you, you it know? It motivates me, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, it make me want to be like, okay. number one. Number yeah. zero before number one. Huh. Maybe you want to go <laughs> harder than one. Yeah. You know so. mm-hmm. And uh, this project will be released through uh, 1017 in Alamo, right? Uh, it should be. If yeah. not, I'm going to release that motherfucker. Right <laughs> you feel me? Like, men, men, men and labor relationship ain't, ain't like 100% as strong right now as it mm. is tomorrow, but it's just because, you know, I've been gone for a little minute. That's what oh, I'm okay. going. You feel me? So yeah. once, I, once I know, if I, when I put this project out, they're going to start loving me. Again. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> so, you know, I ain't tripping on them. You feel me? Still love you family. I appreciate Go Out for the opportunity. Yeah. Alamo, Todd, everybody. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's just, I just got to get back to work. That's how it is. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Let's get it. I got you. I got you. Um, so, yeah, what was it like um, going from struggling and then signing the 1017? That shit was wicked. <laughs> that shit was weird, though, because, like, it's like you go from... How did I say? Like one day you sleeping in the studio in the trap, and the next day you in New York <laughs> doing double XL, mm-hmm. doing double XL interviews. Uh, what's Diddy shit? I think Revolt. Yeah, Revolt. Yeah. Revolt. We did a press run one time. I, I, that was my my first time. I went to New York. We did that press run. It was huh. so many different big old blogs and networks yeah. that we had I went to it, it was like god damn like <laughs> it wasn't too long ago when nigga was just in a hotel you feel me like and I stayed in hotels for years really years even huh. when my brother died Dominique Domo yeah he died before club so hmm. you gotta think about like how long that was that was 2013 like I was still staying in a hotel before then like oh, it wasn't wow. consistently all the way through like all right since 2013 always since I got signed now I probably got a couple of houses, had to move back in the hotel, got a couple of spots, move back in. But it's just like, over the time period, I spent so many years having to wake up in the morning and figure out how the hell I'm going to get this $40 for the damn yeah. room. And until goddamn, now I'm staying in the condo, goddamn, downtown, goddamn, can go wherever the fuck I want to. It's got yeah. different cars. It's, 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 it's crazy, bro. Like, it's crazy, man. Like that shit. Like that's why sometimes when I do be feeling like giving up this shit, I be thinking about that shit too. I be seeing quotes and shit on Instagram. Mm-hmm. You used to wish you wanted to be in position, so don't ever go back. Oh, yeah. Or you gonna you feel me? Like I be thinking about that shit. I be like, I was. I used to want to die to be huh. where I'm at right now. Huh. For yeah. motherfucker to even want to interview me. For motherfucker to even want to yeah. talk to me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. For me to actually be able to be signed to. A, a, a mogul, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, so it's just like, I'm just, I'm just fortunate. Yeah. Um, How do you stay motivated, after, you know, after signing that deal? You know, a lot of people get big headed and, you know. It was one of them points where I was like that too, though. I'm not going to lie. I ain't hmm. gonna get, we end up getting big head too, and that's why we not where we supposed to be right now. Huh. I'm going to speak for myself, and I'm not even going to say that. Okay. You know what I mean? You, you get to run around thinking, goddamn. 
because you sign your own, you feel me? But you ain't. But, you know what I mean? God still got better plans for people. So, you know what I mean? So, yeah. You get the goddamn having the hottest song in the motherfucking city hmm. or one of them, and then fuck around, see somebody else go past you. you know? Yeah. But they go from your head, you think you got damn, you already where you at, but now you gotta keep going, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You gotta keep on going. So, um, it's just it's just another lesson to anybody, you know what I mean? Don't never stop, you know what I mean? I don't give a damn if you think just because you made a million, go try to make 10. Once yeah. you make 10, go try to make 100. You make 100, go try to make 100 billion. Don't even go to, to one billion. Mm-hmm. Like, keep going, you know what I mean? Like, don't stop trying to go the hardest you can. Cause yeah. You know, it don't make no sense for you to stop. I would mm-hmm. go back. Yeah. Nah, I got you. I got you. Um, all right, let's talk about your brother, uh, Damo. Mm-hmm. Um, he passed away, what, about six years ago, you said, 2013? March 28th. Yeah. What role did he play in your life? He was your older brother, right? Yeah, he was the oldest. My mom's first child. Actually, Damo was like, Damo was like the quiet one. Oh, yeah? He was always put out to be the golden child, especially when he died. But he was always like, I wouldn't say the quiet one, but he always was like the one that wasn't, you feel me? Like, Domo used to do, he used to do, he, we always bad, we sat in the hood, we always do illegal shit and all that shit. But mm-hmm. as far as like compared to Cole, my brother was locked up, like yeah. Domo wasn't on that type of shit, you feel mm-hmm. me? Domo wasn't, that wasn't his, his, his motivation to get up and goddamn go try to make some money, I don't give a damn mm-hmm. how it is. I'm not gonna trap. We used to sell mid back then, but Nick some bags me in. We used to smoke it. Get yeah. me a bag of weed, smoke it. You feel me? Like around that time I was selling cigarettes and blunts and shit. So oh, wow. you feel me? Like <laughs> different shit. Like we didn't like he went on some shit like, yeah, nah look, bro, you feel me? Like, we gonna do this shit, goddamn, we gonna goddamn we can goddamn scam or we can goddamn break it in for I was like, he went on that shit. Like he was just on I'm just gonna do me type shit, goddamn. I don't give a damn what nobody think. He wasn't even no real fighter type shit. Like, we yeah. done had hood fights and he'll be the only one just standing right there just looking like. <laughs> nothing, nothing personal or nothing. He just don't be with all that. You feel me? We used to have to force the nigga to fight, bro. Huh. Like, he used to come over here and fuck this shit, nigga, man. It just like, you know what I'm saying? It went on that type shit, you feel me? Like, but yeah. he was a bit bro though, so he was just, mainly what I'm getting at is he was just more mature. <laughs> he wasn't really with all that. Shit, you know what I mean? Like, and he was real smart as fuck too. Like, he was, yeah. that bitch was smart. Like, that bitch had nothing, got all his credit before he even, even time for him to graduate. Huh. That's why when he passed away, he was still able to take his senior pictures and end up, they end up letting, I think they let my grandma walk for him or some shit like that. Like, oh, really? Huh. But he was just, you hear me? Like, he just wasn't like all of us. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. He just was different. He was one of the different ones. He wasn't the one that, and I tell you, like, if he was living to this day, he wouldn't be rapping or none of that either. He no. was doing a little rap shit. I might hear him at home, home with Cole, rapping and doing a little shit, because I, I used to be jealous too about this shit. Like, damn, what's up? I want to rap with y'all. See, y'all let me write some shit down too, but he never, ever got in no studio and actually did that, and we was still rapping before he died. You feel me? Like, not yeah. me personally, but... It was doing that shit, but hmm. Tomo was just his own person. Yeah. So I can't even really. Yeah. Uh, at some point, I don't know how the damn described the nigga. The nigga that was weird. The nigga that was it us. Hmm. Somebody yeah. else. How did you cope with his death when he uh, passed away? Crazy. It was weird. I was at my little partner house, Quay. When they called me, calling my mom and shit. She went answering the phone. I'm like, what the hell going on? I called her boyfriend that she was with at the moment. I'm like, what the hell, my mom at? I don't know. You heard what happened though? I'm like, nah, you're like, your brother just got shot. Hmm. Like, damn, heart drop instantly. Like, what yeah. the fuck? I'm like, damn, I ain't know how to deal with the shit. I got there, you know, my mama ended up you know, calling me back, let me know. Your brother just got, he didn't make it. He's like, he hmm. didn't make it. You know, it was way more horrific than that. Like, oh, yeah. Way. Could imagine, yeah. Like, but it was just like, you know what I mean? Like, she's. She was crazy, bro. Like, and like, I'm more the, I'm more the one that's more relaxed and less. Like, I'm known to like be more. I don't know. I'm just humble, real, real humble. Like, cause 
I'm the one, I'm the only one in the front room walking around laughing and playing, trying hmm. to cheer other motherfuckers up. And if my brother was under, yeah. I my family, the family in the front row, you know, big ass church. So I'm all over there, all back there. The teacher done came from all, you feel me? I'm just running around this motherfucker playing and shit. You feel me? Like just, and it's like, it's just like I had to cope with it different. That's what made me really start playing a lot, a lot too. Cause it's like, I don't really like, I don't like being sad. I don't like being down. I like laughing. I like being uplifted. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I kind of, I kind of handled the love more professional than it was intended to be. Hmm. Like they was thinking, you know how some folks, some folks, some happen in their family. They go in the black hole and yeah. they go on the street for talking, eating, mm-hmm. or some old other shit. Like, it wasn't even that with me. Like it really just made me want to be something that I wasn't. Hmm. So that's what it ended up turning out to be. It was like, and sometimes I look at it like it was a sacrifice. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, not, not on the Illuminati devil shit. Like, it was like a real sacrifice for me to actually find myself. Because hmm. I didn't know who he was. I didn't know who I was until stuff like that started happening. You know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't know. It was just a day to day type situation. And yeah. then that stuff started happening. I had to start figuring this shit out, start having to help. Cole ended up going down the road. The prison ended up getting sentenced to 10 years. Ended True. up doing five, though, but hmm. that's what really made me help. That's what really helped me to find myself. So yeah. I had to cope with it. I had to be professional about the situation because it wasn't going to go, it wasn't go, it was going to go left rather than right. You know yeah. what I mean? So I would go and fuck around and end up dead in jail hmm. if I wouldn't have did the shit how I did it. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah. And you were uh, pretty young when that happened, too. Very young. I yeah. was like, 14, I probably had just, I was like 14. Yeah. 14 or 15. One of them, Ryan, one of them motherfuckers. I'm going be 21 now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My birthday is three weeks from today. Or huh. yes, three weeks from yesterday. It's huh. Thursday, right? Today's Thursday, yeah. Yeah, three yeah. weeks from yesterday. So yeah. 20 days <clears throat> and 21. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. I was only 21, 20, <laughs> 21 days yesterday. I should have put that out there. I wish I could go back yesterday and be able to post that. <laughs> no, that's good. All right, you mentioned uh, directing your own music videos. Mm-hmm. Um, and you mentioned you went to school for that, right? Yeah. Um, so h- how old were you when you first started, when you knew you wanted to start directing or had that visual? When I had to go to school. When or, you had to go to school. Well, that's what really made me like, you feel me? Because I used to always be a little nigga like, when, when the video manager come around, I used to always be like, do this, do this, let me do this. Like, <laughs> You know what I mean? It's used to be burnt out shit, though. I might be on a beat up ass car. Oh, get me doing this, you feel me? But when I went to school, I ended up getting kicked out of school. This was a lot of time. This one, Cole went to prison. Okay. We had both got kicked out at the same time. Literally, I remember the shit like you just said. We got suspended. Cause we fucked me. We, we almost fought the damn bus driver. Cause the bus driver didn't want to stop at the bus stop. So we got them got in their face and shit. We finna beat his ass, you feel me? But the goddamn. He ended up telling on us to the damn folks, and they ended up calling us in the office as soon as we got to school. Boom. Stepped our ass. So that we had to goddamn basically get the hell on in my turn. But, oh, yeah. <laughs> and I had to go to alternative school. I was, Cole was going to come too, but he ended up, while we was not in school at the moment, he ended up getting on the chase from the police, and they ended up beating him up, throwing some shit on him. But, Oh, shit. They ended up dropping that shit, but he was already on bond. He was already out on bond, so they ain't doing no but take him back to court yeah. and make him go to prison for that shit. You feel me? Because, like, he violated his bond and all that shit. But yeah. It was, like, September 13, 2013. Oh, wow. That shit happened. It was a Friday the 13th, too. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, shit. It was some crazy shit that day, like. Huh. But, yeah. you know what I mean? That shit was crazy. I ended up going to have to go to alternative school. And they had the class there, and that class was like, I don't know, I don't know if it was meant to be for, meant to help. I don't know why they got, I don't know why the fuck, and you go to alternative school, they got an extracurricular class like that, <laughs> broadcasting it, and shit like that. Like, who Seems the like they're rewarding bad, the kids, you know? Who the hell bad as hell want to goddamn play with cameras, but fortunately, I was one of the ones who actually wanted to do it. I used yeah. to say, let me shoot this for the class, let me do this, like, and I was like, fuck, oh, like, hmm. if I'm rapping, I can do this shit. Like, yeah. I can goddamn, this shit can help me out. So let me pay attention. Fuck, I learn how to do angles and yeah. all that type of shit. Like, yeah. Now I know a lot about this shit now. Hmm. 
Um, which videos have you directed? Uh, I, I directed Fortnite. Okay. We just did. Shout out to Bray. As, as far yeah. as out right now. Yeah. Did you uh, do Cold Shoulders too? Directed that. Okay. I definitely directed Cold Shoulders. Um, okay. And that was actually like one of my third ones I did, like second yeah. or third one. Like it wasn't, I, I didn't really do too, too many. Like it's a lot of, it's like, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna lie. Like it was a couple of them I probably did like before I started counting. Huh. But I didn't actually take like real, I didn't actually put my real energy into it to actually just, all right, we're going to do it like this, we're going to do it like this. Like, cold shoulders, nah, I already knew what I wanted to do with hmm. that shit. Like, you feel me? Like, I already knew. With Fortnite, I wanted to, wanted to be animated. I wanted to have yeah. a backdrop, a green backdrop. Put this on there, put me on there. Huh. Shout out my brother, Phil Wade. Yeah, Bray. Bray. He helped yeah. me with that shit, too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He had it all the time. He edited it, you know what I mean? A lot of people think directing means you edited it, you shot it, and all that. Nah. Nah, directing means you, you just directed it. Yeah. You know what I mean? You wanted this to do like this, you wanted to be like this. It don't mm-hmm. need nine times out of ten when you edit the shit. It could have yeah. somebody else editing the video for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just because I say I directed it, you know what I'm saying? I done got behind the camera myself and put the shit together. Yeah. Hell no. I can't do that. You still enjoying directing these videos? Yeah. Yeah. I love this shit, though. Yeah. I love whatever comes with this shit. Yeah. Even the bad shit. Because hmm. that shit went happening back then. All right. So, yeah. Let's talk about your drip. How long have you, um, have you always been in the fashion? Yeah. Not really, because I couldn't afford it. Yeah. <laughs> but when it got to the point where it's like, you got you to gotta have the shit when you doing what you're doing, it's like, why would you not? <laughs> like, I just picked this shit up like, fuck, got this shit like crazy. I don't know what. Shout out to Dead End Collection. No. Uh. Yeah, I was going to ask if you had uh, any personal favorite brands. Look at that. I got that little one <laughs> chain. Come on, man. I better rope me a nigga up real quick. I ain't never seen that one before. On, so if man. someone does that, they got it from Quill. I'm going to rope the nigga ass up. <laughs> hey. But this drip shit, this shit crazy. Like, it's so many different ways you can put this shit together. Yeah. But you got to do it. Or, I'm not saying you got to do it because. A lot of people got their own different fashion and shit. You got mm-hmm. some of the weirdos <laughs> who might wear all black all the time, who might wear big pants all the time, who might just wear hoodies. Or, like, you know what I mean? You got some of the rappers who, you know, and you be like, like, they ain't got enough money to goddamn go. But damn, you feel me? Like, and this shit, this shit ain't about that either, because some folks, some folks have had the wrong mindset of thinking that when you get to rapping that you got to go, this shit hit the toe. Like, yeah. sure, sometimes your shoe might have to be Fendi. Just to go with a custom drip outfit or some shit, but mm-hmm. nine times out of ten, you can still go to Walmart and do what you can do. Yeah. You feel me? Cause mm-hmm. I, I might slip a Walmart every now and then, grab me a little shirt, hmm. yeah, put that motherfucker on with some other shit, and that's yeah. it. So you got to think about it like that. Like, yeah. you can you can do this shit. And fashion shit is different. You on the goddamn, but you want to make sure you in the middle of it too, cause it's a different branch of something, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You got, you feel me? Like, just like with the, with the, with the, um, the visuals and the directing and shit. Yeah. It's just something else, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Fuck around, direct my shit, I can get paid off that shit. I'll fuck around, <laughs> drip so hard, I'll fuck around, get paid. Yeah. For that, for that look. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's just different shit. You just want to make sure you're in every aspect of everything in life. Cause mm-hmm. why not? Why be a dud when you can do everything? Yeah. Live up your dream. Yeah, don't miss out on those opportunities. You feel me, bro? You know? What do you do with your old clothes? I don't got two bed for them. Yeah. Oh, you give them I, away or what? Huh? You give them away or what do you do with them? I still got them. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I still got them. It's just, I don't, they're just in the bag. Yeah. They're just there. Like, <laughs> I, I, got I, got, I done got so big. Not, not so big, but I don't, since I got locked up, I gained like 30, 40 pounds. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I can't fit that shit. It's too, too tight. Like, it's too, too tight. I don't know what to do with it. Like, I got some younger bros too. I'm, I'm gonna go to the hood. I'm gonna pass them out. Yeah. I just gotta. I just ain't actually got enough time to just sit down and just go through all that shit. Like, I right, boy, I can't fit this. I don't give a fuck if I do want it. I can't fit it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's, it's a couple of them motherfuckers who was exactly like that. Gucci mm-hmm. and all this type of shit. Louis and all this good shit. You feel me? Like, I can't fit this no more. I gotta give it away. Yeah. They ain't mm-hmm. gonna give me no money back for it. <laughs> I'm not gonna go try to sell it when I get to the little brown, let him yeah. go to school and drip head and throw it and shit. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So it's just 
let him get some shine on it, you know? Let him get some shine on him. You feel me? Like, they know he's throwing up one five. They know he want to be <laughs> where he ain't. So we're going to make it make it out there be what it is. You know what I'm saying? Put, yep. Take little brother to school or some of this shit. I'm going to go ahead and drop him out. Yeah, he got to. I'm going to drop him out. Pull up on him. I'm going to let him live it up for a day. Yeah. It's time to get out of school. I'm going to yep. come back and get you with the yep. music up now. Tell you yep. pump. Don't trip. Yeah. Okay. Be a blessing to someone else, you know? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, you know, think about that shit for the rest of your life. Hmm. You know that day queer thing that got me for school? <laughs> yep. Uh, like you mentioned, you turned 21 in a few weeks. What do you got planned? Big 2 1. I'm going to Miami. Miami? Okay. I'm going to Miami because two reasons, three reasons, matter of fact. One reason because it's just a vibe out there, and I, I got so much love out there in Miami. Oh, yeah. I always love out there. Two, last year I was supposed to went for my birthday, but. My PO went fucking with me. She had no. Hmm. She ended up fucking around, going big on me, telling me I couldn't because I was spending my drug test window. I'm a community service window. That's why I say she fucking with me now because I'm getting all this shit out of the way. She yeah. was trying to put me on the airport, but still, like, it's just something I put to do that did last year. I ended up having to stay in the city. And, you know, some fuck shit happened. I ended up getting a new car. Uh-huh. And I went to the club, the Blue Flame. Somebody ended up ripping my whole damn dough off. Oh, shit. You feel me? So <laughs> damn. that was the quickest car you ever could have. You feel me? Like, <laughs> shit was gone that day. But three, because I don't got no passport. Hmm. And so you got to stay in the country, we huh? Yeah, we on papers. We can't, yeah. can't go out the country right now. But hopefully, I, I got a new lawyer. Hopefully, I can get all this shit together and try to, you know, try to get one for the business aspect. But yeah. I know they scared for a nigga to get a passport because they think a nigga go goddamn running up some shit and never come back. <laughs> and it's going to be over with. Then if I just get mad one day, I just go out there. To, yeah, just be gone. <laughs> UK. <laughs> Fuck around, never come back. Are you much of a drinker? Alcohol? Mm-mm. No? Mm-mm. So turning 21 is not much nah, of a big deal, huh? Nah, I might, I might. I don't want to do drugs like that no more. It's crazy. Like, yeah. it's, it's, it's seldom now. Hmm. Not not rare, mm. not 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 even often that I even do some drugs. So only time you might I might drink a little bit of champagne, Bella. Yeah. Cause my mom get this shit in, and I guess you got a little situation going on with <laughs> Bella. And I might just drink that. Might drink a little Hennessy and go to a show, but not yeah. not not often. Yeah. Don't smoke no weed. Period. Perk. Maybe. <laughs> nah, nah, Zen, hell no. Molly, all that other shit, no. Nah. no nothing, but it's rare now. It's like, I'm not doing none of that shit. No more. That's why it's a different me. You know yeah. I mean? like, you enjoy being more focused? You know, exactly. more productive? That's what it is. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, on, I'm on track now. Mm. And I'm just so ready to let the world experience me now, the new me now, you feel me? Like, yeah. I'm so ready. Like I've never been more ready than I since, since around this time, I've like, never been so much ready. Right? Hmm. All right. Um, do you know what the next Mall and Quill project will be? I don't know. I got to talk to Mall about that, actually. Yeah, like, you guys did I bl- wanna know if, three if blessed little know, blasts. I want to know if he just broke up with me. I'm trying to figure <laughs> out what's going on. Like, Come on, you featured in his most recent video and you directed it. I know. I'm just teasing. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I, they they should have never break up. They should have always be forever lasting, you know what I mean? But... I think it probably came to that time where I, where I just want to try to figure out himself too, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Instead of like, you know what I mean? Instead of being a mile and woo woo or you don't give a damn if it's mile and quill, mile and plug, mile and goddamn Gucci Man and Yeah. I think he's trying to figure out ball iceberg, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I ain't tripping on that, you feel yeah. me? Because everybody got to do that, you know what I mean? But mm-hmm. it's always going to be your mile and little quill. Absolutely. Always going to be mile and quill. Always, we always going to be blessed with Yep. That is for sure. Yeah. So. Gotcha. Is it a sick? You can't, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I'm going to talk to him about that, though. Yeah. Because I just actually announced that playing some shit we just did. I said, y'all ready for BLB4? And huh. it was on my ass about the shit the whole 24 <laughs> hours. It was on my Insta story. I'm asleep. I hear my phone. Like, <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. I'm ready. Like, damn, yeah, bro. We turned my damn notifications off. Yeah. yeah, they see you guys doing solo shit and, you know, they start probably fearing that you guys may not do another Yeah, group. that's what they think, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they get to thinking that motherfucker gonna be on, on some goddamn... Okay, there's Mahal and that's Quill. Now, it's always gonna be together, but mm-hmm. you just finna do a project, I'm finna do a project. Yeah. At this point right now, I'm not... 
I don't even know if I'm finna do a project no more. I, I'm not even pressed about the project. Hmm. I'm just doing it because he wanted me to do it. You know what I mean? Hmm. And like I told you, I, 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 I look up to my word. You know what I mean? Because, yeah. you know, it helped me get to this point where I'm at. And that's really the reason why I'm here, why I'm rapping today. Hmm. I, I ain't gonna say why I'm here, but why I'm rapping cause, because of my heart was doing it. So yeah. I just said, oh, shit, he doing it, I'm gonna do it too. Yeah. But I'm not too much losing no sleep about it not dropping right now because yeah. I can drop a single. Mm-hmm. And a single can do way more than what a whole damn oh, yeah. mixtape can do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. That's my main objective right now is to put out me a good single. Yeah. Good visual. Yep. Get these folks to shit like that. And then I work on the damn album. You feel me? Yeah. But I'm working on music, so hmm. that's all that matter. I'm artist. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, it's always easier to get someone to listen to one song than a full project. You yeah, know? And that's what they be failing to realize. You feel me? Like it, it, it probably would hurt my career more for me to drop a, try to drop the project right now as it is. You yeah, me? just and keep dropping at, singles till one sticks, you know, and that'll create the demand for the project. Me? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That'll make yeah. the folks really want to be like, all right, okay, well this project sounds good. Yeah. This shit, I mean this 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 single sounds good. This track sounds good. I wonder what he gonna keep talking about in this whole project. All right. Ask them for it. Once they get the request and shit. Because they're requesting for it now because I'm telling them. But once I stop telling them about it, then they get to keep requesting it. Yeah. Then I know I know they're ready then. Mm-hmm. But I'm just working, bro. Yeah. That's all I'm going to just put the title on that. I'm working. Yeah. But Don Quilly, y'all, young in charge. I don't know yeah. Any idea when that will, will drop? Hopefully Christmas. Okay. So it okay. can be a gift to the street. That's why I want to There do. you go. I, I got a whole bunch of dates, you feel me? Because I'm not. I, got, I had it on my birthday, but I know this is going to be impossible. It's hmm. 20 days away. I ain't yeah. got nothing clear yet. Ain't got no covers, no. So <laughs> I'm going to get that out of the way. Christmas, maybe January 5th, that's 1-5. Okay, yeah. Uh, or, uh, uh, May the 1st, because that's 1-5 backwards. Hmm. Got 6-15, zone 6 and 1-5. You feel uh-huh. me? Like June, June 15th. Yeah. So it's just a couple of days, you feel me? So yeah. I wouldn't be surprised that motherfucker don't come out the next June. You feel hmm. me? Hmm. So I'm just working. I That's my you. main objective right now to be working. Yeah. I'm trying to get these folks what they want. So. Yeah. Let me ask you this: What would a Kendrick Lamar, a uh, Lil Quill song sound like? I was just talking about this shit the other day with my new manager. Oh yeah. Huh. It's like crazy because like I don't. That's a, that's a feature I'm fearing right hmm. there. That bitch is going to murder me. <laughs> that bitch is going to murder me. It's going to put me under the 10, 15, right? under this You're shit. probably okay with that, though, you know? I'm, I'm okay with it, but <laughs> I'm like, damn, chill, bro. That's too many damn words for these folks. Hmm. Yeah, bring me a dictionary real quick. That's would you crazy. want to rap on, like, a, a West Coast sound and beat, or would I you want that. him to I bring... That. It's crazy because I don't know if you know Louis, thir- Louis 13. Yeah. Uh-huh. The weed, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm on one of his projects. Like okay. he, he haven't put it out, but I did a hook for him. It's like it's just some little east, I'm some little east, I'm not east, west coast type shit. You feel me? Like I'm on all type of different vibes now. You feel me? So I got I got all type of shit for this shit. Now. You feel me? Singing shit. I ain't, I can't sing. I had to do some auto tune on that. But I got all type of different vibes, man. Yeah. My main vibes I be really getting there with on some different type of shit. Be like some Hispanic, like Latino, huh. like different type of vibe. Like huh. I could kind of. I can kind of ride the motherfuckers like, hmm. I don't know why. It's probably just be in me. Somebody in my family must be goddamn bad. <laughs> they gotta be, because it's shit in me. I got you. All right, if you weren't rapping, what would you be doing? Broke. Broke hmm. in the hood, still probably. That, that rapping shit saved my life, for sure. Yeah. I'd be broke, still in the hood somewhere, probably. I wouldn't, I'm, 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 I'm not saying this for sure, but and when nothing else going on until yeah. this shit happened, you feel me? So hmm. it's like, I hell if I know. So I don't know. Maybe a video director? But yeah, no. Nah, I wasn't too much pressed about this shit until I started rapping. Cause uh-huh. I don't even do this shit for nobody else. So yeah, it's just me. for yourself. Yeah, you feel me? Like, like I was doing, I don't tell her, I don't tell her, whatever would have bring the money in probably. I was, Fucking around, got a job or some shit, been regular. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. but let's just let's just be happy that that had to happen. So. Yeah. All so. right. Final question, Quill. What yeah. does Dirty Glove Bastard mean to you? Who's that? What does it mean? Yep. <sighs> Family to me. Hmm. I love Dirty Glove. I ain't gonna lie to you. you know, that's why I made it a priority to make sure I came. So <laughs> came here. Yeah. Dirty gloves, y'all been there since we started this shit before the deal, you feel me? 
Yep. I appreciate y'all, you feel me? Yep. Mad love. Y'all always got my love on my hand, you feel me? Whether this shit get big or colossal, it don't matter, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what the club that's for me to me. Yep. Family. La familia, as I was saying. Latin. Appreciate that. Anything else you want to add, Quill? Um, stay in school. Flash B, never sell it, missing, never grinding, trying me. I'm a little dead, made the fans come and find me.